very Wait. sneaky. What the shit? Has someone been going through my room? Doesn't seem like mom. She wouldn't leave a mess like this. Wait. David? That motherfucker. Whatever. I don't have time for this shit. I've got to help Rachel. Okay. I saw Sarah leaving Frank's RV. He might know how to find her. Plus, he likes me. And he owes me one from yesterday. I can do this. Welcome back. Oh, come on, dude. Pick up. Price, I got your collector's fee. Coming to get it? Hey, Frank. I was actually gonna cash in for a favor instead. What do you say? All right, never mind. Uh, welcome back to Life is Strange Before the Storm Remastered, Episode 3 Hell is Empty. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a mouthful. And real fun to type out, I can tell you that much. Always real fun, uh, typing out the episode notes. Anyway, uh, so yeah. Uh, last episode, we got, uh, some more information about, uh, Rachel's birth mother, Sarah. And, uh, Rachel wants to meet her mom. And we're gonna help her. Never run out of crap, do you? What's the problem? I need to find that woman from yesterday. Sarah. Frank? What the hell for? Something important. Can you help? Yeah. I'm trying to help a friend. It would mean a whole lot to her. The girl with you at the mill? <sighs> yeah. We'll meet in the junkyard in two hours. <sighs> Sweet. Thanks, man. You were real. <sighs> that dick. went well. Real dick, I guess. Kinda. What am I getting myself into? Okay, I've got two hours to kill. A shower would be fucking amazing. Uh, oh hey, new page already. Max. When you think about it, it's kind of amazing that anyone ever trusts anybody about anything. Take the stars, for example. We learn all these things about them in school, but no one bothers to tell us the most important fact of all. Some of them are dead. Yet, somehow, Rachel trusts me with the most important thing in her world. Finding her real mom. She didn't ask me right away. At first, she didn't even want to talk. It was kind of like the junkyard a couple days ago. But this time I didn't freak out on her. I gave her space. Here's something you never learned, Max. When someone you care about is hurting, you do anything you can to be there for her. Even if that means making the stars shine in her bedroom. That's how I got Rachel to open up and ask me about finding her mom. I told her I think I can do it. If I can reach Frank and get the truck running, we have a chance. Chloe, Conjurer of Stars. Before you can see the light, you have to deal with the darkness. How cheesy. Thank you for being there for me last night. I'm feeling a lot better. Guess what? Hmm. You already miss me? Okay, that. Also, we're meeting Frank at the junkyard in two hours. I think he can get us in touch with Sarah. Holy shit. Yep, I'm still at my house, just showering, then grabbing tools for the truck. So, meet at junkyard? I'll be there. You're amazing, Chloe Price. Well, shucks. I 
I wonder if that's the universe where Dad's alive and Rachel has three happy parents. I mean, if they're happy, then he, she, well, I suppose she does still love her, her mom. So much has changed. I wonder if you'd even recognize me now. I think he would. Wonder what I can find out about Rachel's mom. Figures. Sarah Gerhardt. Winchester High School gives Fisher Award to Sarah Gerhardt. Uh, each year, Winchester High School grants the Fisher Award, named after the famous explorer Robert Fisher, to the student who best... That's about it. Try another search? That's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, what? Victoria Chase commented on the fo on a photo you're tagged in. To view the photo, make sure you're, uh, you click on the following link. Nod face. That's strange. Obviously, it's, uh, that's deck nine. Playing, uh, paying a little homage to Don't Nod by calling it the uh, Nod face. Nice to see my work is appreciated. Just in case you needed more proof that Blackwell is better off without Chloe Price. So that's what girls take forever doing in the bathroom. Mad respect. No one asked you, Taylor, Trevor. Burn. Wow, Chloe. That was classy. Okay, but that bird? Friggin' awesome! That's a friggin' awesome bird that she drew. Anyway, uh, yeah. It looks cool, so who cares? Rachel really is good at everything she does. Review. Blackwell's The Tempest takes Shakespeare by storm by Daniel Balch. Last night, The Tempest was reborn upon Blackwell Academy's outdoor stage. The unique and bold direction of Travis Keaton gave the show an updated feel, typically absent from overdone classic works. Stellar in the lead role, the young Rachel Amber commanded the stage just as Prospera herself commands the unknown. Worthy of special mention was Nathan Prescott's Caliban, who carried himself with the mighty tension of a coiled spring. Even from the back of the audience, Mr. Prescott's rage towards his enslaver was palpable, an unusual and admirable feat for such a young actor. Because he's an angry, angry guy. Thou art an idiot. <laughs> Yet the real star tonight, in the role of Ariel, was newcomer Chloe Price, whose chemistry with Ms. Amber's Prospera surpassed even that of Miranda and Ferdinand. As she explored Ariel's struggle between loyalty and liberty, Ms. Price gave a truly genuine performance. Indeed, when Prospera refuses Ariel's freedom in an excellent revision of the original script, I have never seen a more believable portrayal of surprise than Ms. Price's authentic astonishment. Five stars. Authentic because, yeah, Chloe had no idea what the hell was going on. But hey, congratulations. Uh, congratulations, Chloe. Yeah, go skip. When to quit. An interview with Skip Matthews, his head frontman. Arcadia Bay Online News. So, a charmingly homemade music video for your song, Nothing Wrong, hit the internet last night. In the last 12 hours, it has accumulated over 200,000 hits. Yeah, we were as surprised as everyone else. How can you explain the sudden appearance of your first music video? I just really needed a change. I was working full-time at a job I hated, and I finally worked up the nerve to quit. It was so freeing, I just felt the need to channel that feeling into something new. 
Good job, Skip. I'm proud of you. Inaccurate as of yesterday. Someone should update this photo. What do I want the record to show? I think I like this one more. The other one is G you just draw flames around everybody. Around the group. A uh, peer review. A sudden achievement. and mysterious absence of Chloe Price. Yeah. Peer review achievement. And uh, yeah, that's cute. That's this is a cute way. To, like the flames, it's whatever. Truthfully, the flame. Drawing of them surrounded by drawing the group surrounded by flames might have been more thematically appropriate, but this one is just clever. Huh. Almost forgot I had this. I haven't played with it since uh, ever. I used to have a globe, and yeah, I didn't really do much with it. I didn't really use it for anything. It just sat there, taking up space. California, huh? Would be cool to see where Rachel grew up. Curious if spinning it a second time does anything different or if it's the same. <laughs> nope. Argentina. Neruda's journey through the mountains. Dad used to love that story. Aww. I'll visit one day. No. I gotta get moving. I do like how much she still... God. It's way too early to be up on a Sunday. Agreed. Stan, Stan with Kier, bringing you up to the minute coverage of stuff that's interesting on 87.9 The Seder. Please welcome Sergeant Alex Keller with the Arcadia Bay Police Department to the show. Sergeant Keller, drug use in Arcadia Bay is on the rise, is that right? Fortunately, yes. There has recently been a spike in the use of heroin. Heroin? You'd uh, think a small town like Arcadia Bay would be safe from things like that. Well, nah. the problem is these drugs don't appeal to any exclusive demographic. All kinds of people get involved. Rich, poor, teens, adults. So it can spread to any community. Does the ABPD have any leads on where the heroin's coming from? I can't discuss any ongoing investigations, but we are working closely with the district attorney's office to get to the bottom of it. Right on. Thanks for filling us in, Sergeant. Thank you. Of course, small towns is actually meh, is really what uh, you get in a lot of uh, smaller towns like Arcadia Bay. Yeah, I don't know so much. Uh, like, I don't know heroin is really so big? Maybe it is, I don't know. Meth, uh, meth. Man, I can't wait to take a shower. Small towns are all about the meth. Dad's favorite jacket. Definitely taking that if Rachel and I ever leave. Have I ever watered that Let's try. Uh, 
Better than nothing. It is, in fact, not well. It is, in fact, no more effective than nothing. You're welcome, plant. Soda is not actually good for plants. Sorry, board. I've got a real ride to fix up now. If Rachel and I were still leaving today, there's literally nothing in there that's worth taking. Umbrella? Umbrella might be worth taking. Huh? Mom usually does my laundry when she gets sick of me not doing my laundry. Maybe she believed me for once about never coming back home. Or maybe she thinks that you're old enough to do your own damn laundry now. Still can't fucking believe that David went through my stuff. Yep. I am inclined to believe that teenagers are entitled, the kids are, you know, kids are entitled to a measure of uh, privacy, even when living with their parents. Yeah, I know a lot of people are like, oh, it's my house, my rules. But I feel like it is actually kind of important the kids be allowed to have a degree of privacy. Just something to give them. To make them feel secure. To make them feel like they can have a private life to figure things out. And also, it does build trust with the parents. You know, it does mean that they are going to trust their parents uh, better than if the parents are Costly searching through their shit. Hope no one else is using the bathroom right now. Beyond that, the other thing is Rachel's dad does not get to. Is mom playing music? David does not get to search through Rachel's, uh, through Chloe's shit. So I was right all along. Rachel Amber is a fucking evil bitch. Oh yeah, she totally is. I guess you think you're her little sidekick now. Yup. You've got every line of you got every line of that play fucking perfect. How could that be? You've been planning this, haven't you? Oh no, you figured it out. I've had it with this school. Nobody gave a shit about me last night. It was all Rachel, Rachel, Rachel. Oh man, when you try to drug someone and then it bites you in the ass. That's just the worst. Fuck you, Chloe! Uh, the music there. Memories of Benny by John Dankworth. Eh, dank. One day, I'll look at that and think, huh, my old home. And not fuck this shithole forever. Nope. You will never think that. You will, or you will never think, ah, oh, my old home. I wonder who gave this to mom. Putting your foot down. A guide to reining in your unruly teen. Dr. Bill. So, if I put this photo out, Mom just hides it in a different drawer? 
What the hell? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's a tough, tough choice. Because nothing screams compensating for something like a bright yellow sports car. I mean... It's a, it's a cool car. Yellow sports is... Sports cars are really good for... Yellow isn't really my color. Again, the other option just shows the car surrounded in flames. She just draws flames around the car. Hitting on chicks. Monthly masterpiece. Well, this one's Hope actually... You know a good body shop. Yeah, that one's funny. Kinda. Hey. Mom's keeping her ring. Sweet. Kind of... Really glad I stole that money for her. Suck it, Arcadia Pawn. Called at cancelled appointment. So yeah, if you did not slip the money into uh, into her purse, then she does sell the ring. If it really is moving in. Poor Chloe. I remember this. Mom loved it. Wait. Is today Mother's Day? Shit. May 8th. So Mother's Day is May 8th? For the record? I never remember Mother's Day. <laughs> you know, I'm closing in on 40 years old. I could not tell you what month Mother's Day is in. I wonder if the fact that I'm seeing it here will uh, actually end up making me remember. This card redeemable for a free breakfast in bed. Love you, William. It's been scientifically proven you're officially the best mom in the world. Happy Mother's Day. Love, Chloe. Aww. That's cute. Uh, can I just give that to mom again for Mother's Day? Just realized I forgot to take another look at that uh, photo. Okay, I've got two hours to kill. The sudden and mysterious absence. Fucking amazing. Price. Wasn't sure she'd have anything different to say to different to say there. May as well mention as well the uh, the bit with the water with uh, the plant. That's pretty clearly a callback to the original game and uh, Lisa the Plant. It's pretty obvious that that was Don't Nod just... Or that was Deck Nine just... You know. Thrown in a little bit of a... Uh, callback there. Is getting out of here still in my future? Or is this picture the closest I'll ever get? Either way, 
We're fixing that truck from the junkyard. Well, in my run of the game, that is the closest she ever got. Is that David's towel? Where the hell is mine? Okay, my towel's probably in here somewhere. I should just calmly look for it. Go away, stupid. There you go. Gross. Manly grip pomade. I truly hate seeing so much of David's shit around here. A logical place for a towel. Lots of washcloths. No towel. Maybe mom threw my towel in here. Would make sense. No awesome pirate towel. No awesome pirate. I actually kind of like that she calls it her an awesome pirate towel. I don't even know what's in there. I believe Max and I were so into this shit when we were kids. Wait a minute. Captain Bluebeard's hair dye. Max was going to make me a pirate, but we never got around to it. Bombshell blue, wash away color. Ready for the best shower of my life. Hot water, don't let me down. That's pretty cute. You know what I'm just realizing? I am just realizing how weird it is that they don't have the uh, mirror above the sink. Like, is that... Someone correct me if I'm wrong, but usually, like, a mirror goes above the sink. Right? Like, that's where you'd put a mirror, because, you know, you're going to be brushing your teeth or putting on makeup, whatever, you know? It's fairly common to do it at the sink. Well, maybe I'm really not putting on makeup. looking forward to this shower. Yeah, yeah, shut up. I'm busy, Chloe. I have a opinions that I must <laughs> anyway uh, what was it right so like I feel like normally yeah if, you know brush your teeth or you know a lot of stuff that you do in the shower you you use the mirror because when you're at the sink shaving actually yeah shaving if you're gonna be shaving you want the mirror where you can see that you're shaving and above the sink is the most convenient spot for the mirror, uh, if you're shaving. Like, no one's gonna shave over here. This is good for makeup. Because you can sort of set it out, set it up across there and everything. I still have shit to do. Better shower soon. Stop interrupting me, Chloe. So yeah. Yeah, this gives plenty of space for the makeup. Rather than all just, just having to Ram it all in the medicine cabinet. Because I mean, a lot of times, like the mirror above the, like sometimes the mirror above the sink will also double as a medicine cabinet. Otherwise, yeah, like mirror there, medicine cabinet there would have made so much more sense. How many times was I in this room uh, during playing the original Life is Strange? How many times did I come into the bathroom? I can't be gross for another whole day. I need to get in the shower right now. Yeah, I've been there. Uh, 
Yeah, how many times did I come into the bathroom during the original Life is Strange? Yeah, it was probably like three, maybe four different episodes. Yeah, three or four different occasions, and it genuinely never occurred to me how weird it is that the shot that the mirror is over there rather than above the sink. Anyway, fine. Here you go, Chloe. Your shower. And once again, I want to note that I appreciate them not being just that, that I appreciate them not uh, being insulting by putting her in a uh, in underwear in the shower, which some games uh, do. Uh, anyway, this song is called Hope, by the way. There we go! The start of modern Chloe. I need new clothes. This is what, uh, obviously, this is what we see in the preview. The preview uh, image, the teaser image, obviously, is this one. Which does make it somewhat tempting. Of it. We've seen all those. Cone of Fire. I think we saw Cone of Fire before. <laughs> Actually, that one is. I will say. This is a very cute one. This is a very cute shirt. Cone! It's like an ice cream cone! But fire instead of. ice cream. Oh, and the necklace. Just notice that she's wearing her bullet necklace. Dragon. I feel like none of these really fit thematically. So I think I will actually go with this one. gonna go with this one all right one last thing I need to get dad's tools so I can fix that truck dad's toolbox should be in the garage downstairs 
You're welcome, plant. Here goes. What are the chances I can avoid mom or David? Statistically unlikely. <laughs> I'm flipping them over. <laughs> Not yet, I told you. Three minutes each side. They're gonna burn. Oh, you're the expert now. I can't stand it. I'm telling you, it'll make a mess. <laughs> uh, they're having fun. You know, you don't have to make me breakfast. I'd settle for flowers. You cook all the time. I want you to have a break at home. <laughs> you are Aww. one class act, David Madsen. <laughs> Mom actually looks pretty happy right now. She does look happy. It's good for her. I'm happy for her. Also, I find David's impatience at, with cooking. Honestly, I kind of relate to that. You know, the waiting is always the biggest problem I have. One of. Is one of the problems I have whenever I've tried to go. Hey, who's there? Hey. <laughs> Chloe, your hair. When did you. Was this for the play? I heard you performed last night. Nope. I mean. I, I did, but this is, uh, is something different. And that shirt, oh, I haven't seen it in ages. I was out of clean clothes. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't think you'd be coming home. Yeah. None of that matters now. Oh, I am so glad to see you. She's being smothering. Good to see you, Chloe. Coming home was a smart decision. Oh, shut up. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Thank you, sweetheart. I... Uh, I didn't get you anything. <laughs> Having you back home is present enough. Yeah, I'm just here hilarious. to pick up something. Then I... Uh, I have to go. Are you coming home tonight? Mom, I... I don't know. I wish you would tell me what you're up to. Um, yeah. Chloe clearly feels guilty about everything right now. I'm... I'm just hanging out. With Rachel. Oh, how is Rachel? I was telling David about the play and you being in it. I really gotta go. Listen, wait. Before you go, David has something to say to you. It won't take but a minute. May as well also mention here, uh... While they, while you watch, uh, when you're watching Joyce and David dance, uh, two songs can play on the radio: uh, "Redwood Trail" and "Memories of Benny," both by John Dankworth. Mom.
I don't think this is the best idea. You already promised. <sighs> Chloe, I've made an agreement with your mother to trust you from now on. That doesn't trust. <laughs> really? What does that mean? It means that from today forward, I'm going to take you at your word. So if you say you haven't been smoking or drinking, then I'll just leave you be. No, he won't. The idea is you should feel comfortable here, Chloe. David's not going to question you, and neither am I. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna... David's lying to your face, Mom. He searched my room. What? You didn't know? Detective Dickwad here went through all of my drawers and my bed. It's what you asked me to do. Make sure she's got no drugs or alcohol for her own good. Oh, my goodness, Chloe. I'm sorry. It's Chloe who deserves the apology. Well, Chloe, I'm sorry that I violated your privacy. I Audio did it glad. with your best interest in mind. Bullshit. Damn. Yeah, screw it. Okay. I... I accept your lame apology. Chloe. <laughs> what? It was a shitty apology. I really meant it. Good job. It was a pretty shitty apology. Can we be done now? Wait. One second. Don't go, Chloe. I've been... meaning to show you something. Maybe... maybe now's a good time. This... is my friend Phil Becker. We served in the same unit. Two tours. Becker was... killed... near the end of our deployment. Roadside IED. We used to joke about all the trouble we were going to get into once we got back home. But he died. He died and I didn't. And I think about that fact every damn day. The point is... Yeah, it's rough. I've had my share of grief. I know what you're going through. Then don't be a dick about it. So I guess what I'm saying is, I'm here to do what, whatever I can to help you get over the loss of your dad. Please, I'm begging you. Give David a chance, won't you? Here. Why don't you keep this photo for a little while? Uh, think about what I've said. Yeah. I mean, tough choice. Flashing lights and loud noises. So, for, the, for those people who are, like me, bothered by the light and the noise, just come back in here, because that is very annoying flashing, very annoying, uh... See, I mean, it's, it's honestly, like, he's trying. 
He's not good at it still. He is trying. And I mean, you know, condolences on the loss of his friend. Um, but like, trying to help you get over the loss of your father, loss of your dad. Hey, you know, it's a great way of uh, helping me with that. Not saying that I've had a vacation from having a father figure. That would have been a great fucking way to help me. Uh, Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I still, I still begrudge you for that. Yo, know, that was such an incredibly stupid, shitty, insensitive thing to say. That yeah. Still salty about it. How long ago did that? Yep. How long ago did uh, did I play that uh, that part? I mean, in universe, it's been like two days. You know, it was like literally like two days ago that he said that to Flip. Uh. But I'm still salty about it, me personally, and it's been like a month and a half. Or something. Yeah, it's been... It's been a while. And I'm still sitting here like, you, you son of a... Yeah, so it's been over two weeks. As of the as of when I am recording this, uh, it's been over two weeks. I think closer to three weeks. Hell, it might be even more than three weeks at this at this point. It's been a while since I played that episode, and I'm still sitting here like. Still resent them. Anywho, um, that not setting that aside. Um, Right, I've got a decision to make. Do I accept David's outreach or do I blow him off? I mean, like. The mature choice is to accept David's offer. On the other hand, like, it's... I guess... Does Chloe really trust him? person I would ever talk to about my dad is you Chloe think it over for more than a, a minute it's a basic courtesy you know when people offer to help you're out of your fucking mind you 
disrespectful little shit. You just made a serious hey, mistake. Both of you. You don't scare me, asshole. Given the circumstances, honestly? What the hell? Just gotta grab Dad's toolbox and then get out of here quick. <laughs> What's the matter, David? Don't want any more decorations inside your toolbox? Yeah. Yeah, the fact that he's now locking his toolbox is honestly just funny to me. Anyway, uh, I'll be honest. Chloe's reaction? Her comment about the last person I would ever talk to about my dad is you? Like I said, David earned that. I maintain that David earned that reaction. Um, her dropping the photo was a bit of a dick move. You know, put it on the table. You were right beside the table. Put it on the table. Uh, dropping it, that was free. But, yeah, just telling him off. Yeah. Completely justified in saying that she will, that she has no interest in talking to her dad about it. Uh, talking about her dad to... To the step douche. an hour but I think it will end it end the episode here before we move on to the next uh, the next bit this is a reasonable place to end it before we get into the next section of the game with the uh, the junkyard because that's obviously you know it's obviously where we are now so uh, for now So this episode had us successfully take a shower, and that is just about it. That was just about half the episode was just getting ready for a shower. Um, very, uh, very productive. Though that is kind of uh, realistic, isn't it? You know, early morning and it's just like got a shower and it just takes a long sometimes it just sometimes it just takes a really long time to to get to that shower. <laughs> so yeah. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode, I hope.